known in the Puerto Rican roots. This is a book called 1491, New Revelations of the Americas Before Columbus by Charles C. Mann, second edition. This was bought at BJ's for a whopping $11.49. This book is pretty on the inside. As you can tell, beautiful map of Humanized landscape before 1492. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to show you. This is the United States and Mexico and parts of Canada. Look how interesting that is. Central America and the Caribbean. I'm going to zoom in. But they don't do Puerto Rico, so I'm going to zoom in the next picture. That's South America. There's Puerto Rico. I'm going to zoom in. There. And that's South America. So this is Anglo forestry. This is all the forestry. Tracing, cleansing by fire, hubbins to the area extent, uh, terracing, and earthworks. Puerto Rico would fall in husbandry extent. That's interesting. Almost like South America is like that. So this is a good book to buy. I highly recommend it. Charles E. Mann, it's a writer. All the Native American symbols. I've been to the Southwest and Midwest and Southeast of Florida. So I've seen like the Native the tribes and everything. I believe I'm 6%, 5% Native American. Mostly of Taino ancestry on my mom's side. Mom's family's from Puerto Rico, so we can talk about this. These are the maps. The poetry. And I left here with here a view of a book because I read all the preface. So I'm at picture page. What would I be? Three. So I'm up to here. I think it's a very good book to have. If you're into Native American history or something before 1491, before the Spaniards got to the New World, good book to have. Here's the background view. Here's some reviews and comments. Like I said, you can pick this up at BJ's. Uh, it was a birthday gift. It was my birthday about a week and a half ago. My mom got this for me. And uh, it's interesting because I love history. As you can tell, I love that Spanish history right there. Yeah, I love Halloween tree and I have Christmas tree up and up already. So if I can zoom in, I'll zoom in. It's all about Columbus and the conquistadors. And here I have a lot of the South American and Puerto Rico history. And this book goes along with it. It is a good book to have. Uh, five out of five stars for sure. So far what I've been reading. I just have a, a, kind of a bookmark here. But I've been reading everything on it. It has pictures and photographs and maps and history. And talks about all the native tribes. And it's really good to have. Um, it's really nice to have maybe some of the stuff in the Taino Indians. They have any suggestions for books about Taino Indians for Puerto Rico, especially in Hispanola, slash Dominican Republic, and Haiti. Let me know. I'm curious about that. So, good book to have. And yeah, my family was here before 1492. Part of it, part of them were Taino and Aztec, and what I understand, uh, Mayan. And uh, maybe some Inca. I'm finding ancestors in all places, Bolivia and Peru. So uh, that was, I guess it was common. I have ancestors that moved from Bolivia and Peru and end up in Mexico. So one of them seemed to be Native American because it's hard to trace her mom. It just says her first name, so I suspect she could be of Inca descent. And it shows it on my DNA anyway. So this is a good book to have. I highly recommend it. 1491 by Charles C. Mann. And, uh, good book. I have another one that has 1491. Let me see if I can find that. 1421, and that's 1491. The year that China discovered America. It's got both of these books. And I read both of them. This one I got a goodwill, and this one obviously was a gift. Let me know what you guys think. Post a comment below. Thank you.